Hey guys, it's Maxi, and in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the thought process on how to pop off from ranked on Jet. If you guys haven't hit the subscribe button yet, I would greatly appreciate any support to this channel. Thank you. Just like the title suggests, this is a game where we have such a dominant defense side that as soon as the side swapped, they forfeited. As a Jet who so maliciously abuses the Operator, I'm fairly certain I had a strong hand in breaking their mental. So let's not waste any more time, let's get into how I broke their spirits. For my pistol buy, I went with the Sheriff this round and committed myself towards mid. Ranked a lot of times just comes down to mental warfare, so I'm planning on stamping my nuts on the table in mid so to speak. So the enemy team decide on an A hit, luckily for me I have the entire mid lane under wraps. So if they're completely giving up the space, I am more than happy to take it and go for the flank. My goal here is to completely pinch and apply pressure from all sides. This is the strength of map control. Oops. As I'm flanking the killjoy turret spots me, but that doesn't matter. If anything, breaking it will force the KJ and perhaps even another player to come back and hold it personally. And any way you swing that, that's good, because that'll help my team down the line. Do you guys have a flash for A main, Omen? Before I continue with my flank, I chill out for a second and I double check with my team for any flashes or anything to make my life easier. If I can tip the scales of a 50-50 in my favor in any way, I'll so gladly do so. After taking out the KJ, that's instant pressure for his buddies on sight. Got one. I don't know where these guys are. Hey, Jenny, Jenny, one more Jenny. Oh, that's no side. 30, 30 health, healing. Full health. 150, nice. If they're out in the open, they're going to be forced to make it. If they're out in the open or something, they're going to be forced to reposition or make a desert play or something. The more desperate the play, the easier it is for my team to punish it. If you're wondering why I dash right here, you gotta understand that these guys already know that I'm flanking, so the cat's completely out of the bag. And another reason is I can dash across the screen and try to get a good idea in my head on where everybody's at. Get I get it. Cross her a lot. Go get it, go get it, go get it, buddy! Oh, 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 oh. Mine? Alright, yeah. I'll it. It's just a pink dot, bro. I'm fucking with it. Reminds me of her. After winning the pistol round, I noticed something that greatly influences my buy going into the second round. As you guys may have noticed, the enemy team got the bomb down, so that gives their whole team a money bonus. So that means a force buy isn't completely off the table for them. They might force, they might force, fuck, I'll buy something. My goal going into the second round is going to be the same as pistol round, shut down mid. If they didn't get the bomb down, I would have just gone with the martial buy, but since they might have armor, I'm going all out with the guardian. Oh, they're doing it again. I ran out of ammo! Double 20 speed! Double 20 speed! Uh, One enemy speed. They ended up forcing again, but unfortunate for them, they ran into the Undertaker, aka my friend Levi, who completely destroys them. Since they did end up forcing again, they're gonna be completely forced to save here. Nothing really changes with my goal, I still want them to fear mid, so that's where I go. Damn, I sent two guys on mid. He's behind the box, holding me. After those two first picks, I make a big bonehead move and overheat like crazy. Oh, I got so badly. It's not mid. I know it's not the smartest play, but I've been doing everything in my power to try to get my confidence back, and that just means taking fights. So now this is where the bullying begins, because I can afford my operator. Something that I say is a hallmark of a good jet main is their ability to float productively. That's why this time, I decide to snipe and try to shut down the B lane. Unfortunately, they end up deciding hitting A again. That's okay, because I still got my dash in my back pocket, and I'm rotating and ready to go for some picks. The second I process that both of my teammates are still alive and fighting on sight, that's the only green light I need to go in and try to help. They probably have all the enemy attention, so I'm not really worried of anybody like hard holding me towards heaven. <laughs> After I get the first pick, they're completely aware that I'm in heaven now. So I toss a jet smoke to introduce a wider angle. The only thing I'm really worried about is trying to disrupt the crosshair as much as possible and keep trying to help my teammates. So that's another round that we win pretty convincingly. Shout out to my omen, Fear My Glock, for shutting down their initial sight push though. For the next round, yet again, their money is bad. 
So I go back to contesting the middle lane of the map, except this time I'm going in from the cat angle. Always best to try to stay unpredictable. Found them. Damn, that timing is insane. That's a pussy ass bitch. I got flashed. Or be mean. Flawless. Nope, never mind. She ran back. After this missed shot right here, the safe play would be to just hold an off angle or even fall back since we're at man advantage. But since this is ranked and the goal is to break their mental, I smoke because from his point of view, I could be using it as cover to cross back safely to cat. Instead, though, I get aggressive and wide swing through and out the smoke and catch him with his pants down. These are the types of plays that tilt a player. I want him to feel completely outmatched and helpless. Kind of like how my dad is with me whenever he gets drunk. That ended up being another round in the bag for us. So going into the following round, this round I decided to probe B. Since they didn't see me the round before, I plan on continuing my goal on shutting down entire lanes with my op. My Sova darts B main and that gives me the assurance that nobody is close enough to stop me from picking up a stronger angle. If I can get a more aggressive angle that can shut down this entire lane, that allows for my teammate to rotate and reinforce other parts of the map. This is a prime example on how valuable op players are sometimes. Not only can they gain control of the map, but in the same note, gain massive amounts of information. Oh, guy bottom mid, left two. The jets up cat, jets up cat, nearly gets down mid. That's another round in the bag for us, and for my efforts, I get repaid in kindly by getting teabagged by my rat bastard teammate Lego Lover. All my homies hate Lego Lover. So going into this next round, since our sight holds have been pretty good, I go back to trying to shut down mid by my lonesome. <gasps> oh my god, it's my time. You should run. Oh my god, it's already out. Wait, it's not my time. Did he start? Oh! I'm flashing the jet. You know, Maxi, you're gonna fucking die. I was like, I didn't want to give. Oh, big got two. Lego Lover. You get two? I'll tell you, Sova said 100. Have we seen she got two. That's so good. Open on site, I'm smoking so you can get both on site, both on site, both on site, both on site. Oh, you got wine? Right here in the back site. Oh my god, I can't shoot straight to Oh! This is one HP, you're welcome. So in the vein of floating and trying to make an impact on every lane of the map, this time I take my operator towards A. We're in a bit of a stack though, so my goal for this round isn't really fragging out. It's more of making my presence known, taking a shot, contesting, then backing away and hopefully baiting them into the sight hit. It works beautifully because they run into my teammates crossfire and they get shredded. Oh my god, I dodged! Oh, Look at right here. One enemy remaining. Oh. Hold on, hold on. No! I wanted to get him with the sword. Now back to contesting mid, because you want to be a thorn in their side. A nuisance. That's why sometimes whenever you guys go against Jet Smurfs, it feels like they're all over the place. A lot of them are pretty aware of the fact that their role on defense consists of having to make an impact all over the map. You're bad, you're bad, you're bad! <laughs> 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 I die. Now we move on back to B, baby. Pay attention to how I get my teammates to use some initiator utility to help me get control of the map a little bit safer. I voice my reasoning aloud, so onwards. Want again? You draw me, B main. Hey. Deploying drone. I'm smelling a fake finally. Nothing's been working. So now with the help of Sova, I'm now holding what I consider a shutdown angle. Watch this. I'm gonna get a kill here. They, they, I'm back. Hey, they canceled, they canceled. Imagine? <laughs> if you'd have killed somebody, that would have been so happy. Oh, I heard one. Nice. Spike down, mid. Here go. I don't think- I don't know. 80 on- I hit her 80. Hold on. Oh, I'm so dumb! 
Three seconds so much left. better. Uh, yeah. They smoke mid. Can you drum be main again? I'll follow it. Yeah, jump for so bad. Deploying drone. I'm in. Oh, yeah. That's it for real. Let me put. Put the 8 on, KJ. Oh, one more. He's yeah. in cat, he's in cat. I'm fucking in, man. Coming out, coming out. Come out there. Okay, well, I'm smoking off right now. Oh, I'm gonna probably go for a pick here. Yeah. I'm kind of safe towards there. Last player oh, standing. garden. Spike planted. Oh, Unfortunately, we lost that round, and we also lost the final round of the half due to a flood of ultimates and some pretty nice KJ lineups from their end. Where are we going? What's the plan? Uh, sorry. Um, first of all, let me have that classic. Second of all, I think we split the cat. Dude, let's split. Let's split cat. Let me just get my Rainizzle on me. You smoke bottom mid for me, and if you got a flash, you can maybe flash. You, know, you, you want to smoke here? You want to smoke deep? Uh, top mid. Good arches. It is here. Do you have a flash or no? Oh, no, no oh what the Keska? Oh my god. So after my teammates are dying towards A main, I decided to play for the rotator picks, hoping I can get one or two. I'm hoping my teammates stay long enough so I can kill these rotators and we can audible towards B. But I low-key probably should have just tried harder to try to pinch and save my teammates. It's mostly just a hindsight thing. Right here, I just tried to make it play to try to like switch the momentum, but it didn't go our way. so wide. Nice. I don't want that gun. I got the spike. I think Goldman's market. Hi, Daddy. Let's just put B here. Let's put B here. Tree? I don't think this could be. I think they rotate towards there. Nothing market, nothing pizza. They might start smoke rotating out. off that dart though. That's what I'm worried about. No, no, it's not smoking. Just walk the whole way. We slow down a little bit, Cornball Ranger. You better not peek this angle until we get close. Okay. Yeah, here. He's jump peeking. He's awesome. Let's go. Look in the crowd. Run it. I have no, sm I have no smoke to spawn. I, I fucked up. One's on site. Who's on site? Judge. Oh, right we have a spawn smoke there that's so free. One enemy remaining. Are you sure this was on site? Ten seconds left. There's a judge! <laughs> I thought I had two smokes. Right here, since we got a pick towards A early, I wanted to silently rotate and hit their B side. Something that's gotten really popular lately is a strat where you go silent and then re hit the site. Since it's a pretty common strat in high elo now, I wanted them to worry about that. If that pick caused one of the B players to cheat and rotate towards A, I'm hoping the threat of us re hitting the site causes that player to linger, making their B side weaker. So that's why I wanted to silently split B with my teammates. No util, no nothing until we finally get spotted. That's when we can go buck wild. If we toss utility a little bit too early, it just gives away where we're going and they instantly rotate like flies. So I like just walking up, playing contact, getting close to the point where by the time they find out what we're doing, it's going to be too late. We end up winning this round and after that, I can only assume they were tilted out of their mind and they imploded over being thrifted, so they forfeited. GG. Here's a code for a chance of free coaching. If you have yet to join my Discord in the description below, please join. It'll make it way easier for me to find you. Thank you so much for watching. Love you.